so i've just been to the post office and i've got my sums wrong again i put 360 on the, the the postage and it was first class 385 so i've got that wrong as well hello everybody welcome back to the channel my name is tony smith and this is the second part of my little experiment to see with the, the, the kind of winter setup if i can make any money selling extra plants via ebay via just on the street anything like that and i've picked the hottest chili go back and watch this video for part one which you'll see is like how it all kind of came together and this is going to be part two i think there's going to have to be a part three as well so there's lots to talk about so we are having a little few setbacks as uh, so always there's one major setback for me, me plans me global domination of the whole chili field market and that has been the now the step up in the uk of full lockdown in the, in the country and that's a little bit knocked me plans to some extent and the best way to describe it is i had a secret weapon i was told about because the first initial option is to sell them on ebay you know and obviously to pay the postage and it was i think 10 pound for for five little plug plants that's me set that's me marketplace to end into the market and i was going to use facebook marketplace as a place for just local people to come and pick them up and save the postage well now we're into lockdown that option has been taken away so a quick update on things the backstory is on the 11th of december i got myself 200 carolina reaper seeds and 200 of the little jiffy pellets and put them into this propagator on the 24th of December they look like this and as you can see they're just starting to come there is quite a few sporadic gaps in the, in the seedlings and I've got a little theory of, of, of why there was some that didn't germinate but now we're back now and it is I think it's the 6th of january so i'll give you a little look as to where the, the whole big batch are this is of the 6th of january and i've got all me ones that i've taken and germinated great there and the non-germinated ones there and i mean they were all higgledy piggledy but the majority of them were in a, one particular tree and i think it just wasn't right there is some starting to come out you know like a slow germination but i can probably safely say that lot there is redundant so i'm now down to this particular batch and that's all i've got to work with so this was the what i think was the culprit of a lot of the germination not happening i put them in this one and it just for whatever reason it just the ne I don't know, there's, there are probably loads of reasons but it was nearly full and it was nearly full of non-germinated there was only a few actually came out of this and got germinated so as you can see i swapped them over but i think it's a little bit too late and they're just especially these ones have just stain the field cold it just doesn't there's something not right with with that and i, I kind of just really fathom it out but we now have this to work with so at this moment i'm down to a hunt from 199 to 135 chili reaper seeds so profits are dwindling straight away with this with this experiment and in the final ver you know part three i'll work out costings and, and what it's cost us and if i've actually made a profit but i'm not taking in like i mentioned in the first episode i'm not taking into account you know the actual propagators and everything like that they're there because it would probably take about 10 years to make the you know, recoup the the money spent or what it would cost for these so but straight away again with this lockdown and again my, <laughs> my my fault as well certain things haven't been put in place and other were and mishaps happen and i've had to go to a local shop to buy some bubble wrap and yes i could have bought some bubble wrap on the internet and getting it delivered but 
there's one bit of good news. The good news is I was eager to try out eBay to give it a test and I loaded, and this wasn't a Carolina Reaper, I loaded two and you can have a look on the screen there now. I put two products up there, which were the black Hungarian, which are these ones there, the black Hungarian wax or hot wax chilies. I put them up there and I've had a sale and i wanted to get you know obviously when you're, you're dealing with plants you want to get them out as quick as possible so i think my postage is 360 and first class no bubble wrap hence i've had to go and buy local shop prices post office bubble wrap which has eaten into me me profits already but i need to get these picked out and posted today So there we go, five Hungarian black in there, and I got my wife to write because I'm a little bit messy with the, <laughs> there's the label as well. And what I'm learning is there's a, there's a total learning degree as well of timing, because if you noticed, and I'll actually left this one, I'll just show you this one, those Hungarian black, which were planted on the 15th of November, are a little bit bigger than plug plants so i'm now having to probably readjust the eba listings and it'll be two for 10 pound because you it's a little bit tight to get them in and then if you have to put another container then your profits again so you've got to reevaluate, and that's what i'm thinking and i'll show you in a minute or two what i'm going to do with the the main crop so there we go we'll pop this in and that will go down first class with the label and I'll post that straight away. So at least we've had one bit of good news. Let's get on to the main ones then. So with timing as well, and again, I didn't think of this, maybe it's you know best every other week planting a set of, of chilies, but this is probably the average. Now at the moment, that's still probably a touch too small to kind of send out but what i will do now is list a couple on ebay and just test the waters with the, the chili the reaper ones and i've actually got some further on reaper spare reaper ones there and i've even got you know if i've even got my i don't know if you can see if i can just move that light those are my like reaper seeds for my own doing so that's the kind of size from the 15th of november what they'll be so i need to now start listing some of them on ebay just a couple and then start ramping up production and with this now these big ones again i'll just get in these will be going up as a, as a different price and that's what i can do with the reapers you know if if they don't sell straight away i'll i'll set up the price and increase the price if they get too big so i did set up and how i did it i did set up like a special ebay page and i've got a nice name there now and i'm going to keep that private because i don't want anyone going and buying the chilies and then skewing me experiment if i've got hundreds left you know <laughs> i'll uh, i'll certainly mention it on the on the the channel later on but for now that's how we're doing so hopefully the next one will be the one where i update you where i've sold everything and everything is hunky dory look after yourselves take good care <laughs>